Pro Football Hall of Famer and Cardinal Mooney alum Eddie DeBartolo Jr. was honored today at his alma mater. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed was there when he got his hometown Hall of Famer plaque. She joins us live in the studio now with the details of this honor. Yeah, Dave and Erica, as if the DeBartolo name could get any bigger in this area, Eddie DeBartolo Jr. was recognized as a hometown Hall of Famer today at his high school. It was a moment DeBartolo told me he will never forget. He may have never played high school football, but over 50 years after Cardinal Mooney grad Eddie DeBartolo Jr. left the school, he was back today for a big recognition. Everything that happened to me happened after I became a student here. Today he became a hometown Hall of Famer. Coming here today, in this building up today, coming to see the students and coming to see the high school, see what great strides they made, honest to God, I was just blown away. The Youngstown native made a name for himself in San Francisco with his 23-year tenure as owner of the 49ers. Recently enshrined in the 2016 Pro Football Hall of Fame, DeBartolo said today's recognition hit closer to home. From Youngstown to San Francisco to Canton, back to Youngstown and back to Cardinal Mooney where it really all began. DeBartolo's family, including sister Denise, YSU President Jim Tressel, and president of the Hall of Fame, David Baker, all came to help celebrate. Singer Paul Anka, one of DeBartolo's greatest friends, has a concert downtown tonight and said he wouldn't have missed it for anything. And as a trench player, he is a brother. He's got the biggest heart in the world, and he is so grounded to his friends and to life. And the times and the laughs that we've spent together in many, many places, you know, they're part of my life. Now, by doing all of this, Cardinal Mooney actually became an official high school of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This plaque that DeBartolo received today will be on permanent display here at the high school. DeBartolo told the students who filled the bleachers that you can get success starting from anywhere as long as you have the passion. It's an honor that, that is, is it, it, will, it will live hopefully long after I'm gone. I also asked Eddie what he's been up to lately, and he said he's been getting in some long overdue family time. We have the full ceremony on our website, WKBN.com. In the studio, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.